Welcome to the lesson on responding to bradycardia. In this video, we'll discuss how to respond to bradycardic events. To respond to symptomatic bradycardia, check the heart rate to confirm abnormally low heart rate or a significant rate drop from previous normal. Complete the ABC survey by checking the airway, breathing, and circulation. Check for signs and symptoms of shock and acute change in mental status. Perform necessary CPR and administer epinephrine and atropine as indicated. Evaluate the success of drugs and consider transthoracic or transvenous pacing, especially if bradycardia is the result of a complete heart block or an abnormal sinus node function. Seek consultation from an expert if needed. Remember that the primary goal of symptomatic bradycardia treatment is to make sure the heart is maintaining adequate perfusion. Treatment is not necessarily aimed at increasing the heart rate. Treatment should continue until symptoms and signs resolve. If the individual stops having a pulse, move to the cardiac arrest protocol. Always consider the reversible causes of bradycardia in pediatrics and treat if possible. For further details on responding to bradycardia in pediatrics, please refer to Table 15 and the Pediatric Bradycardia with Pulse or Poor Perfusional Algorithm, that is, Figure 13, in your corresponding PALS manual. This concludes our lesson on responding to bradycardia. Next, we'll review recognizing tachycardia.